The positive example of Liberia and the rather more depressing tale of Angola show that the involvement of women in post-conflict negotiations is not just a matter of equality, it is absolutely vital for security and stability. So how is the Foreign Secretary using the influence that he has to ensure at this critical time in the formation of new governments and institutions in Libya, Egypt and Tunisia, women around the table with full speaking rights as an essential part of these future successful states? Yes. Um, this issue is a, is a very high priority for the Department for International uh, Development in all of the work that they do. Um, it's, important, it's an important priority in our Arab Partnership Fund. I listed uh, earlier some of the projects uh, that we are undertaking, for instance, to um, train and assist uh, female candidates for election in Egypt. Uh, we can't, of course, ensure, we are, we are not a sovereign power, we can't ensure uh, that these things happen in these countries. Uh, but we can send, uh, we can transmit the right signals and encouragement all the time. Uh, and we do that. The Prime Minister very much did that in his meeting with the National Transitional Council members in, uh, in Tripoli uh, a few weeks ago. Um, I will be visiting uh, Libya and many other North African countries shortly, and uh, this will be a subject that I will return to constantly. Mark Hendricks. 